Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Bookmas. It's day two and today we're going to be talking about my December TBR. It's December 1st when I'm filming this. I literally cannot believe it's December already. Also, I'm sorry, but the washer and dryer are right outside of my door, so if you can hear that, I'm, I'm sorry, I had to wash my clothes. I'm going to be talking about all the books I want to read in the month of December. I obviously am doing book myths, so hopefully I'll get a lot of these done. But I have a few physical books. I think these are all the physical books I want to read. And then I have some books on my Kindle that we will talk about. Two books I want to read are books that my friend Major lent me. She lent the, these to me maybe at the end of October, maybe the beginning of November. Maybe it's only been one month. But that is Dog Songs by Mary Oliver. It's a poetry book. We actually got this at the bookstore. She got this at um, the bookstore. And it's just so gorgeous. I know I've talked about this in a different vlog with Major in it, but it's just gorgeous. Ugh, I keep on saying that, but I can't wait to read this. I'm very excited. I know Major really enjoyed it. And then the other one is Time is a Mother um, by Ocean Wong. Um, and again, I'm sure this is phenomenal. I've heard a lot about him and On Earth We Are Br Briefly Gorgeous. So I think it'll be really good. What I have is Consumed by Aja Barber. This is, I, I'm only 63 pages through, oh, it's another bookmark. I thought I had been to page. I'm only 63 pages through it, but I'd really like to finish it. It is really, it's about climate change, colonialism, and consumerism. And I feel like the way that she discusses these topics is very well done. And I keep on wanting to read. I just haven't. Um, so I do really want to finish this before the end of the school year. Next one I have is Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. This is the second book in the Red Rising series. This book was so good and then I put it down and I just have not been able to pick it back up. Sina, I am so sorry. We were supposed to buddy read this. She's already read the second book and the third book and I'm like, oops. But anyways, I do want to read this eventually. Uh, I just for some reason can't. Um, but I will. I'll finish it this month. I'll finish it this month. Next book, I swear I could have finished. I feel like I have the memory of the ending in my head. But then when I went to it, I realized... Oh. Okay, now the bookmark's gone. I'm confused. I don't think I finished this book, but also I have memory of finishing it. So I'm very confused and I know that does not make any sense to you guys. But there was a bookmark in here. And I'm like, why is this bookmark in here? I've already read this. But... I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. I know I never updated my Goodreads, which is why I'm like confused. But we're probably going to start at the place that my Goodreads says. And if I've already read it, I'll just, you know, skip through it. But yeah, this is Parable of the Sower. This is our common book at the University of Kansas. It's pretty good. I remember it being good. I know there's a second one. So I'll keep you guys updated on this because I myself am confused. I, I don't know what's wrong with me at all. Books are really fun because they're holiday books and I love a good holiday book. I was planning on not buying that many this year um, compared to last year I bought a ton. So I only got three this year but I'm very excited for all of them. The first one is Love Holly by Emily Stone. I will just say out like out there Emily Stone is my favorite holiday author. She releases at least I, I think I've read three novels by her. I know always in December. Um, Okay, well only those two are showing but I swear she wrote another one am I going crazy okay I guess I'm crazy because there's actually there's actually this is only her third one but I will say always in December and one last gift I rated oh what did I rate them I rated them four star, stars both which to me is really good she has an emotional depth to both of these and I'm so excited so when I saw this in Barnes and Noble I was like I love her so much she's my favorite I have to get it um and I will say she has her fourth book coming out next August and it's gonna be another Christmas holiday um yeah story and I don't know they're just they're always tragic but so beautiful and the way they bring two people the way Emily brings two people together is chef's kiss I also love that it's set in England I think that's amazing but anyways that's the first holiday book the next ones I actually got at Dylan's because they were discounted they were 25% off and I was like you know what? I'm going to get both of these. I know both of these authors. So the first one is Tessa Bailey's Wreck the Halls. I read Tessa Bailey's, I read a few of her books, but the most popular I read Hook, Line, and Sinker, and then It Happened One Summer. And I really enjoyed both of those books. I thought they were fun. And so I didn't know she had any holiday books. I don't, this might be new this year. I honestly have no idea, but I'm pretty excited for it. And again, I paid $14 for it, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I got this a while ago, but I'm excited to read it now. Last holiday book I have is from Lucy Score, and I will say I'm kind of scared for this. The only book I read from Lucy Score was 
Things We Left Behind, the first book in that series. I never ended up reading any of the other ones, even though I do want to. Um, but I know that, that that book, it was a little long for me, but I did enjoy it, so I think I'll enjoy this. Um, don't really know what any of these are about, and I probably won't read the backs of them just because I usually don't, but we have a nice little color scheme going on here, so. Those are all the physical books, so now we're going to get into the digital books on my phone, or not on my phone, on on the thing book being Sable Peak by Denmi Perry. This is the last book in the Eden series, and I would really like to read that. Um, it comes out sometime this month, I don't know when, but we're definitely going to be reading it. Another book comes out this December. I think this is the one I was talking about. I would really like to read The Fake Out, which is the Vancouver Storm, um, second book in the universe. It comes out the 7th. I read Behind the Net in June, and or maybe I read it in July or August, but I read it and I actually really, really enjoyed it. I rated it four stars. It was just kind of like a hockey little romance and I thought it was really cute. And since this is um, a part of the same like NFL or NFL, <laughs> NHL hockey team, I know we'll get another hockey romance. I'm really excited about that one. I figured it out. I figured out the book that I was talking about. It's Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. This is the second book in the Divine Rival series. I rated that book four and a half stars, I think. Or wait, what did I? I actually rated it five stars. So I love that book. I thought it was very good. And the second book, Ruthless Vows, comes out. So I'll definitely be reading that. I'm so excited. But yeah, I think those are all the new releases. And then I do have a couple books on my um kindle that i'd really like to read the first being check and mate by ali hazelwood i only have this for a couple more days actually so i would really like to read it soon because my library um card or my my loan is going to suspend but yes i would like to read that one i'd also like to read there is um a book from or larry recently larry reads for anyone who doesn't know larry reads recently posted like a collab for a redesign of this one book and I feel like it was like say some say so or now I'm forgetting of course but let me say you swear is what it's called I would really like to read that book this month just because I've seen it in a lot of places so I think that's all the books that I'd like to read this month it is a lot it's a lot oh powerless I'm also currently reading powerless so I'd like to finish that book up um can't believe I just forgot that I'm literally currently reading that but yeah, those are all the books. Um, let me know what you guys plan to read this month. Do you have any good holiday romances that I should be reading? Because I always love those, you know, always. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.